In today's video, we're going to be talking about Jamaica's current crime rate. A lot of our subscribers have been asking us what's the stats, what's the numbers on Jamaica's crime rate and how does it compare to last year because as you guys know, we had 1,616 murders last year and we were saying if they don't get this murder rate under control, then it's going to be way worse. And for Jamaica to be such a small island, we should not have that much murders. So, I did some digging, but as you guys know, Mr. Andrew Holness told the media that they need to be more sensitive in the way that they put out certain um, publications. And it was a big problem um, with them and media outlets. So, we had to go digging for the numbers and digging for the stats. And even then, they, they're still not clear or concise. So, I'm going to talk about what I actually found. And this is from the National Wider Radio, JM.com. And it's published on May 1st, 2018. And it's under crime and court. And it says at least 471 people have been murdered in Jamaica since the start of January of this year. That's an increase of almost 6% over the corresponding period last year. This, according to the latest statistics from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the, Jamaica, the constabulary figures cover January 1st to April 28th. Hi guys, so if the video seems a bit different, it's because the battery on the camera died and I'm using my phone. So, it says the St. Andrew South continues to record the most murders with 68 persons being killed over the period. That's an increase of 46 more murders or more than 200% when compared to the 22 persons who were killed in 2017 over the corresponding period. And they're just talking about January 1st to April 28. 12 out of 19 police divisions in the country are showing increases in murders the st catherine north police division is showing the second largest increase this year when compared to last year so far 54 people have been killed in that division that's 11 more murders than last year there's now a state of public emergency in that division so far, 54 people have been killed. Well, Westmoreland has registered 50 more murders so far this year. And 49 people have been killed in Clarendon so far this year. They round out the top three most murderous parishes so far for 2018. So that's St. Catherine North Division. Westmoreland and Clarendon are the three most murderous parishes so far this year which is you can look at it both ways you can say it's good because Montego Bay used to be the most murderous one and they're not included in the top three but that's because they're under state of emergency that's neither here nor there St. James has shown the biggest drop in murders. 30 people have been killed in that parish since the start of the year. 90 people were killed in St. James over the same period last year. That's a reduction of more than 66%. There's a state of emergency in force in St. James and a zone of special operations in Mount Salem in the parish. Kingston Central, St. Andrew North, Hanover, Manchester are other divisions showing decreases in murders. 
In fact, Manchester and Portland are the least murderous parishes, both recording five killings so far this year. St. Catherine South is the only parish to record no change in murder figures registering 28 so far this year. Meanwhile, there's a 2.5 decrease in most of the other major crime categories since the start of the year, with only larceny showing a 16% increase. So that means rape, robbery have, be, have a 2.5% decrease um, this year. So, Westmoreland, St. Catherine North Division, and Clarendon is the three most murderous parishes in Jamaica for this year. We have 497 murders in Jamaica from January 1st to April 28th. And every parish except for three have a increase in murders so they're saying they have been putting out in the media that st james um has declined in murders but everywhere else have increased in the amount of murders which is crazy crazy to me So, comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story. Do you think that if we continue on the same trend with the increasing amount of murders, are we going to beat 2017 with the 1,116 murders that we calculated? Or do you think that they have the crime rate at a lower rate this year and they're doing their best and it's going to decrease comment also about what you think about andrew wholeness trying to restrict what the media puts out because this was very hard for me to find all this information for you guys from a legit source and that's because of what they have been trying to do to media outlets and telling them that they need to be more sensitive and they need to be more cautious in the way that they put out certain news so comment in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube i'm a part of here man deuces them a drive by and all know them can't reach Go and back up for your grandmother Chris Them a pussy from the street and me see it Go over they go beat and teach Beat, beat and teach So beat and teach So beat and teach